Hey everybody, so before I jump into this part, I decided to do a little bit of home renovations just to make the place more pleasant and unlike a jail cell. So I hope you guys enjoy. Hey everybody, it is me, Life Simmer, and welcome to part 13 of Let's Play The Sims 3 Ambitions. A potato flew around my room before you came, excuse me. So currently, Alexander is grabbing himself some garden salad, because garden salad. But upstairs, I did a little bit of renovations. As you can see, Isabella now has a red and cheetah print themed room, which I think go hand in hand together, and they're pretty cute. And then downstairs, Alexander got probably the brightest makeover ever. His room is now a Into the Future themed room, I guess. <laughs> it's the Dream Pod, which is freaking awesome. Your Sims can come over here and dream about some cool stuff. And I thought, you know, why not? I think Alexander actually had a nightmare. Yeah, all Alexander could dream of was utter isolation. He woke up feeling totally lonely and in dire need of social socialization. So... I mean, I guess it doesn't always benefit you, but whatever. It's cool. It's nice. I like it. <laughs> Alexander really needs to socialize with somebody, and I kind of wanted him to socialize with Amy Bull. So I'm going to have him chat on the phone with Amy, see what's up after he's done eating. And Benny Boy is going to wake up soon. It's already noon. Oh, he's just going to sleep now? Okay, never mind then. Isabella, it is Saturday, so she is going to head down here. And, uh, oh, she needs to eat and use the restroom, actually, so... She's going to use the potty and then head down here, grab a little something, something to eat. She'll grab some garden salad as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't sit at the table because of my gorgeous plant. I should, I really, really like it. I don't want to get rid of it, but you know what? It's time. I guess my Sims can sit at the table, even though I totally don't want them to. I doubt they'll be able to sit there with that one. I can try. Can you guys eat there now? Can you eat there now? I doubt it. Probably gonna have to switch the plant again to a tiny itty bitty one. Or probably not a plant at all. I really want one though. And I believe Isabella is also not Isabella. Portia is on a case as well. Yeah, on the stolen car. She needs to go snoop for clues at the beach. And she also needs to go get a tattoo removal. <laughs> we haven't even like really looked at these yet. Okay, so here we have the upside down heart with a ring around her stomach. I mean... Obviously, that's totally the best tattoo ever. And then we have a woohoo heart, which actually is not all that bad. I, I would say that's not horrible. Is this like a chicken on her hand? What is this? It looks like a hot dog, maybe. I don't know, but there's that. And then right here we have, oh my gosh, it's literally me on Porsche's arm. That is what I look like. It's red because I'm Satan. Not today, Satan. Not today. But then we also have a floral line that just didn't come out all that well. And I think she has something on her back as well. Okay, yeah. Um, it's like a scroll with a bunny on it. <laughs> so we're gonna have to go get our tattoos removed for 150 simoleons, I believe. Which, um, we're, we, we have a little bit of money right now. I guess she needs to go to work and stuff before we can do that. So I'm gonna have Portia go conduct her stakeout at the beach. And Isabella is also going... Oh, look, she's eating at the table! Yes! 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 Makes me very happy. She's going to finish this wood sculpture over here. We have, after this one's done, we will have two wood sculptures that we can put towards our little little goal over here. And then we're going to go do that. I really want Ben to wake up because I want him to go do some stuff. 
I really, really want him. Okay, I've done a little bit of research, okay, guys? And I really want a Simbot. If you don't know what a Simbot is, it's kind of like the bots that we got from Into the Future, but they're a little bit different. That was kind of like the talk about when Into the Future came out. It's like, is it the same thing? Plumbot, Simbots, they're not the same. They're kind of similar, but they're not at the same time. So a Simbot, um, we're going to go ahead and make him on the invention table. And uh, your Simbots are so cute. They like fall in love with toasters and stuff. Oh, I cannot wait. But there is a lot that goes into making a Simbot, including life fruits, which it's funny. In the last part, I was talking about death flowers and how I really want one. Is she skating her way over there? No, she's running across the water. Is she going to glitch out? What the hell? <laughs> what? Okay. Isabel just finished as well. But life fruit is needed, so we need to plant it, which you need a level 7 gardening skill to plant life fruit, which means I'm going to have to work on Ben's gardening skill because I want him to kind of do it all himself, you know? So there's a bit of work to go into that. We're going to just sculpt something in wood. We now have this, like, fish thing right here and a man who I have no idea who he is. Oh, and... Alexander he's like hey girl what's up looking hella cute though he's gonna no not her he's gonna go practice his chess for a little bit and I'm gonna head over to Portia now as they're doing their little stuffs and this one's looking for clues all right well she's gonna do what she has to do we're gonna head over here and if she finds anything I will come back um, so far, nothing, nothing, nothing. I want Ben to wake up. It's almost time to wake up. It's like 4 p.m. for him, so he needs to kind of get up and start his day, right? And Alexander is now a level 4 in the logic skill, so good for Alexander. Benny Boy is going to wake up and use the toilet, and uh, everything's breaking in this house. Isabella needs to do some repairs, so everything's unbreakable. But he's going to use the toilet, grab some garden, garden salad. And uh, maybe take his bike out for a nice ride to the consignment shop. And maybe we can find some cool stuff there. Um, and it's still snowy out, so I can't use my miner. Ooh, so sad. And we'll also probably spend the night inventing stuff. Since he woke up so late, he's definitely going to be put to work. But he's going to go grab his garden salad. And then we're going to head to the consignment shop, which may be open by the time we head out there. Hopefully it's still open. What time does it close? Please still be open. Where is it? We're here. I believe it's still open. Ben needs to hurry up and get here. Um, Because I really want to buy something. And OMG, fashionista. Yes, couture. Love it. Yeah, he's going to come buy some stuff. And a lot of you guys were telling me to sell my stuff here. And it's definitely true. I read the lessons in here. And it's like, oh, you can make more simoleons if you go to the consignment shop. And I'm like, hang out. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. Girl, stop. Girl, stop. Put it away. Put it away. Get back to work. Thank you. <sighs> no, don't get to know her. <gasps> the store is closed. Are you freaking kidding me? Are you serious? I came all the way out here and it closed at like 6 p.m. Wow. <gasps> I want one. I want it. I've been wanting the Grim Reaper snowman forever now and I have yet to get him. Like I, my sims, I'm like, go build like 20 snowmen. And every single one, it's classic evil alien. The alien one's pretty cool too, but I want the Grim Reaper one because it's just so cool. And I want them to bring penguins back, but they never will now. Will they? No. Modders, if you're listening, I don't know if it's possible, but possibly make a cat or a dog look like an alien. I'd like that. I'd like that. I'd mod my game for that. <laughs> but yeah, we're now home. And Ben is going to head all the way out back in the snow. There's Mr. Gnome. He's going to come and vent some stuff. <laughs> and Isabella is still over here doing her thing. But I think she's she's getting done. Oh my gosh, hardwood clay has passed on. I knew it. He didn't. He was rude to me when we talked to him in the last part. So bye, clay. Bye. <laughs> but we definitely need to come friends with Justin, as he is pretty cute, and he's also our coworker, which means we have some benefits there, right? And I think because hardwood has moved on to a better place, hopefully. <laughs> We need to meet our new co-worker because I'm sure there is one, but she's about to improve her inventing skill, which is pretty cool 
No one is... He's working on his thing. Where is the light in here? Go ahead and turn all the lights on. Alright, there. He should feel a little bit better now. Yes. Ben is out here doing his thing. Portia is still conducting her stakeout. She's... I don't know, is she, like, glitching out or something? I feel like she is. Like, this water and her are just not buddies. I don't know. I think I'm going to reset Portia if she doesn't get to the shore shortly, but... Congratulations, Isabella has just improved her sculpting skill to a level 8. Some consider it the most polished and presentable of all sculpting media. Blah, blah, blah. Um, Isabella has now can now sculpt with the hardest medium of all, stone. Ooh, which would be really awesome if we can make like a garden. Okay, she's like about to die. She's about to die. Her teeth are clattering. Or chattering, not clattering. <laughs> chattering. Okay, get to the surface. Get to the surface. Go home, Portia. Run, Forrest. No! Stop. Portia, what are you doing? Do you want to die? Do you want to die? Okay. Oh my goodness. That is so scary. That is so scary. I look over the umbrella and I just see that. Like I'm actually scared in real life. Not not just in my game. In real life. Jenny Jones Brown. Okay. We're gonna go home. Yeah. <laughs> scary. I think we're gonna have to come back when the snow is gone because she keeps going over here and it's just ridiculous. I don't know why it's doing this ambitions and weather yeah, not the best not the best combination all right there we go Portia is now home and safe and sound she was stuck out there for a while so she is going to I guess go to bed since she's had a long day of doing nothing She's just stuck outside. She's going to go recycle that. And cool, she made another headed man. We're lucky, aren't we? So can we just drag these in our inventory? Or do we have to put them like in our family inventory? How does one do? What is this? Melted ice sculpture. Oh, that was Gloria. That was Gloria, no. I didn't know that they would melt. <sighs> Whatever. Sorry, Gloria. All right, now that I put it in there... Yes, now we can go deliver our sculptures. It's 10.49 p.m., but we're going to do it anyways. We're going to deliver them. And I like how everybody's taking the bike, too, instead of a taxi. Poor Benny's probably like, you're wearing my tires out. Knock it off. Whoops. We're doing it anyways. But I like she's, how she's going to go deliver this to the burglar place. Okay, then. Have fun. The criminal, criminal hangout. I mean, if that's what you're into. <laughs> okay, I guess they asked for a bunch of wood sculptures. Maybe they're redecorating or something. All right, Isabella has earned 1,022 simoleons, increased her sculpting skill, and also increased her relationship with the Lama Corp Shipping Company workers. Oh, and oh, I didn't even get to read that. She's now a level 9 in the inventing skill, which is crazy. Why is she moving up this so fast? I don't know. But she... I, I don't know. I didn't even get to read what the level 9 thing is. But, um, let's see. Be bold and savvy. Cool. We will be bold and savvy. I guess we can, um, she wants to sculpt Simbad, Rotter. We'll have to do that. And she wants to make a stone sculpture, which we definitely will be doing that. She's just, like, on top of her game. She's fire captain, level 9 inventing skill. Like, you go, girl. Yeah, we're, we're done with that. We just delivered to some criminals. Yeah. And she is going to use the toilet and head to bed because tomorrow we have lots of repairs that need to be done to the house. So we definitely need to get those going. And Benny Boy. Oh, we actually have money for Portia to get her tattoos removed now. She's probably very excited. He's going to head to sleep as well since he has a lot of inventing to do tomorrow. We ran out of scrap, which means we're going to have to go purchase, not purchase, go find some tomorrow. And Alexander, I guess we'll um, work with him a little bit. He will clean the house up real quick. Just a little bit. 
And then his logic skill is pretty, pretty good as well. I kind of want him to get a spirit in our household. Maybe the spirit could do like the doctor career or something like that. That'd be nice. That'd be very nice. But he is going, oh, what's his relationship with Amy Bolt? Not high at all. Not high at all. Go ahead and clean the toilet, buddy. Because he won't use it until it's pretty much spotless. He's, he's not doing that. Yeah, go ahead and clean the toilet, and then you're good for now. Okay. Let's see. Alexander, it's only 4 a.m. Okay, never mind. <laughs> He'll go dream a little bit, and then he will go to sleep. See, he's going to dream about... Oh, family. No, he's going to dream about rushing water. I dream about rushing water all the time. It's, it's so bad. Tsunamis all the time. All the time. But yeah, Isabella will be waking up soon, so I won't bend, so I might as well. Portia's about to wake up, actually. And we're going to name one of our chipmunks. <laughs> you guys were saying I should name the Squiddles. <laughs> I should, like, bring the Squiddles back. And I was, like, really thinking about it. I'm like, hmm, the Squiddles were pretty awesome. They were. So I'm thinking these are going to be the chips for chipmunks, but chips. So chip, <gasps> Chippy! Chippy, that's their names. Chippies. So here's Chippy number one. All right, guys. Chippy number one. Let me go ahead and feed him. I'd be really sad if he died. Chippy. We need a picture of this. This is like, this is it for us, guys. It only goes uphill from here. All right, we'll go ahead and play with Chippy as well. It's Chippy. Hello, Chippy. Welcome to the family. Yes, Chippies. In pets, it was the squiddles. They were squirrels and now we have the chippies <laughs> they're like everything you know let me get a picture of him like this too the original chippy guys there will be plenty of them i can guarantee it i wish they could like produce wouldn't that be awesome oh she just got bit <laughs> at least it's not like in the sims one where when you got bit you would um, go crazy so and die <laughs> All right, she's going to have some pancakes this fine morning. And hopefully the snow starts melting. The snow is so freaking deep, and I'm sick of it. I'm so sick of it. Huh. She's going to, as well, have some repairs to do now, doesn't she? She's going to do some laundry. And uh, I might have Portia. Oh, Ben should be waking up, so never mind. I was going to have her go to the consignment shop for him, but he's about to wake up. So he's going to go upstairs, use the potty. Take a quick shower and then head to the consignment shop. And he also is going to use the harvestable to get some scraps. Definitely need to do that. Isabella is about to wake up as well. Girl, you got a long day ahead of yourself. Her handiness skill is quite up there. So she's going to head down here and repair this. And then we're going to do some unbreakable stuff because everything breaks in this house. Portia is in a pretty good mood. So she's going to head... Oh, the yes, it's finally melting! Yes! Yes! Yes, and it's officially spring, too. So we can now head to the beach and do our stakeout today because yesterday was just a mess. And is it raining? It's raining. Okay. She's going to <laughs> head to the salon and tattoo and get our tattoo removed because it's... or our tattoos. A professional tattoo artist is required to be here. Where are you? <laughs> we need this removed from our body. I think somebody's here now. Yeah, okay. She's gonna go get her tattoos removed. After a muddled dream, Alexander is asphyxiated on his bladder. It's not full, but you can't rather ignore it. Oh, okay, so half full bladder. I guess he's thinking about pee all day. Lucky boy. She's going to come make this unbreakable. She still hasn't repaired the shower, so she's going to do that as well. Alexander, you can head upstairs and use that shower. And then, let's see. Ben is cooking himself some pancakes right now. Oh, and we also have to repair the dishwasher. There's just so many repairs that we need to do that I just don't want to do. <laughs> but he's going to eat really quickly and then head to the consignment shop because yes the snow is melting which means we can use our miner we can use the miner we can use the miner that's what we're gonna do before we head to the consignment shop she's getting her tattoos removed right now good for her but 
hold up. Ben's gonna come outside and use the miner. And he's gonna drill somewhere. I don't know where, but he's about to drill somewhere. Very exciting. Whoa. This is some crazy stuff right here. Look at him. Where are we about to go? The dirt looks really realistic. <laughs> He's just up there working. The struggle up there. We all just got paid, yay! Come on! What's taking so long? Oh, he's digging up gems, that's pretty cool. Come on, Ben. We're waiting. All right. Let's see. Perhaps Ben should remove the miner and investigate closer. Oh, and Isabella has been promoted. I guess her handiness skill went up. Congratulations, Isabella has, con has been conferred the new title of Backdraft Specialist by the Twin Brook Down Council, blah, blah, blah. Firefighters and departments around the world now look at you as the expert on freak firefighting. Cool, cool, cool. Um, nobody knows the fire, the nature of fire better than you. Ooh, she now makes 1,480 smolians per week. Everybody got paid as well. Um, let's see. Alexander Stipend was 840 smolians. Portia's was 525. Isabella's was 1,132 smolians. And Ben didn't get one. <laughs> So we're going to go ahead and move the miner. And, oh, it's like shining. What is in here? What is in here? Oh, she, you're not going to investigate. Get out of here. Oh. <gasps> oh my gosh, that is, <gasps> that is so scary. Okay, picture. Sorry, Ben. Ben has entered the tunnels with a mixture of nervousness, nervousness and excitement. Who knows what underground adventures await. I don't know what's going on down here, but I sure am curious. And she's now a level eight in her career. It's like, how crazy. And we've only rescued three Sims. We definitely need to work on that. But I wanted him to go to the consignment shop, and now he's in a hole. <laughs> um, okay. Good stuff. Portia, no, you're not heading home. She got all of her tattoos removed, thank goodness. Because those were looking quite scary. And now she's going to head to the beach and do her stakeout because we can. And Alexander needs to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Isabella, instead of doing laundry, how about you work on, uh, on a stone sculpture? 500 smolians for a stone sculpture, but we're going to go ahead and do it. Oh, oh, Ben was challenged to a duel by some kind of underground dwarf king me by teaching or by but managed to get out of it by teaching the court how to play charades dwarf king guys <laughs> a dwarf king that's pretty freaking awesome if you ask me all right so here she is conducting her stakeout finally yesterday was a big mess but she has her bushes out and she's just because nobody can see her like at all nope nope oops can't see me she can't see me I wonder if she did it. Why is she here? Oh, there's so many mushrooms. I don't know what we're doing here, but there's just tons of people showing up and Portia's hiding behind two bushes. They're probably like, send her to the loony bin. And the hospital's right there. So they're probably like, really? Send her. And they laughed at me in the police academy when I said I could camouflage, camouflage myself anywhere. Who's laughing now? I'm still laughing at you. Still laughing at you. Really am. You look quite crazy. I mean, not as crazy as Ben, who's down there battling dwarf kings, that's for sure, but still a little crazy. All right, so what are you doing here? Oh, okay. Why would the consignment shop owner, Sophia Carlton, that's true, she was just there talking, be at the beach conducting shady deals because the shop is in perfect means. Blah, 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 blah. The puzzle pieces are jamming into place. I think I'll pay Sophia Carlton a most friendly visit. So, I guess 
Sophia, maybe she possibly stole the car. Oh, I missed that. Maybe she stole the car and sold it. Oh, look, there's like a pack of wild Sarah Jessica Parkers running by. Hey, guys. So we're going to go do this. Oh, we're at her house. Hey, girl. Sophia, stop looking at your mailbox. I'm here to talk to you. Alert. All right. Question her now. Dinamadu. What's up, Sophia? Huh? Oh, I knew it. I knew it. The shop owner crumbled like a two-day-old crumb cake. She's been selling car parts in the back room of the store to our very own chop shop. She handed me what's left of the car and her dignity as well as a refund. I should give the client a refund to finish the case. So Sophia was stealing car parts and selling it to the chop shop, which I actually want a motorcycle, so we're going to have to possibly steal one. Oh, she has a nice car. Oh, and the shop's about to close again. Is, oh, are you freaking kidding me? Because I was out here all day and he's down there in holes right now. Oh, I think he actually found something. At least Ben didn't get crushed by collapsing tunnels this time. Ben did manage to snag a couple of things. Hopefully they didn't fall out the way up. So, I guess there's nothing down there and it didn't take us anywhere too cool. But I guess he managed to snap some, sn 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 take some stuff, but I don't see anything. Oh, that sucks. So he's going to go fill the hole in. He didn't really get to do too much, actually, today. And is that a squirrel or a chipmunk? <gasps> it's a squirrel. Never mind. I got really excited. I was like, yes! Another chippy! But, um, yeah, we're just going to fill this hole in. Unfortunately, we didn't get to find anything all that cool. The consignment shop's closed. <sighs> sucks. It sucks. It sucks. It sucks. It sucks. Spell is over here working on a stone sculpture. This would look so cool in a garden. Which, that's what we're going to do to end this part, actually. So we're going to go shop for some groceries with Ben really quickly, who needs to get his gardening skill up. It's at a level what right now? Does he even have it? Um. Okay, same. <laughs> okay, Little Mermaid Molly, same. But yeah, we're going to purchase some stuff. I don't believe we can actually plant a watermelon yet, even though I wish I could. We will do some of the store content because you can plant them at any skill level. So they're awesome. Where are they? Maybe in here. Why don't they sell them? Ah. Why don't they sell them? Produce. It'd be under produce, right? They only sell them during like a season or what's up with that? There's bananas. I really would love some banana trees. Huh. I wonder why they're not selling them. Maybe it's a summer thing. I'm not sure, but I doubt it. Very weird. Very, very weird. I guess I'll get some sweet grass. Maybe I can plant that. I'm not sure. I know we can, like, plant lettuce and stuff, but who wants to plant lettuce? I guess I. <laughs> and, um... A potato, because I'm a potato. Buy a few of those. Okay, I'll try to plant some of these, even though I, I would rather do, like, blueberries. <laughs> what does he want to do with the carrots? Oh, he wants to grow carrots. Okay, we can definitely do that. Sorry, Porsche, I'm going to go ahead and undo that really quickly and just put that in there. Okay, so we're going to plant these in the next part. Can I actually grow those, though? Can I grow the carrots? Sarah Jessica's, please let me. No! Wait, level five. How about potato? No! Level five! I know I can grow lettuce, but who wants to grow lettuce? Not on. Sweetgrass? No! It's all level five. Okay, then. Whatever. I am going to go ahead and end this part here. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to give this video a big fat thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I love you all so very, very much. Bye, guys.